This is the Music History Today podcast for July 9th. On today's show, Bill Haley hits a milestone and Dick Clark takes over something small and makes it huge. First up, though, on this date in 1952, singer June Carter married singer Carl Mr. Country Smith. Also in 1952, pianist Sarah Joanne Byrd married TV children show host and Presbyterian minister Fred Rogers, a.k.a. Mr. Rogers. In 1955, Bill Haley and the Comets' Rock Around the Clock became the first rock song to hit number one on the Billboard Singles Chart. In 1956, Dick Clark took over as host of a local Philadelphia television music show called American Bandstand and turned it into a syndication giant. In 1957, Elvis Presley's movie Loving You premiered in America. In 1968, David Ruffin was fired from the group The Temptations. Also in 1968, The Seekers' final concert was broadcasted on British television. In 1970, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young finished their tour, then broke up for four years. In 1971, Grand Funk Railroad played a sold-out concert at Shea Stadium, even though they didn't have any hit singles at that time. They were popular in New York City because of the social media of the era, better known as a billboard in the middle of Times Square for almost a year. In 1972, Paul McCartney and Wings started their first tour of France. In 1974, Rush signed a record contract with Mercury Records, and Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young started their reunion tour. In 1978, Andy Gibb performed with his brothers the Bee Gees for the first time when they did a cameo during his concert in Miami, Florida. In 1981, the TV news show 2020 became the first national program to do a story about rap music. In 1988, the group The Smashing Pumpkins was formed. In 1995, the Meadows Music Amphitheater in Hartford, Connecticut opened with Hootie and the Blowfish becoming the first artist to headline a show there. In 1999, Mick Jagger and model Jerry Hall announced their marriage. In 2001, the Backstreet Boys announced that member A.J. McLean had entered rehab for depression and alcoholism. In 2010, the K-pop group Teen Top was formed. In 2014, the K-pop group B.I.G. was formed. In 2016, singer Brad Walsh married fashion designer Christian Siriano. In 2017, Mansfield's 103.2 radio station in England had its signal hacked and then was taken over by a voice that kept saying, I'm a wanker, quote unquote. And in 2019, Anne and Nancy Wilson reunited as their band Heart started their reunion tour. In classical music, in 1949, Benjamin Britten premiered his Jump Symphony. In theater, in 1978, the revival of the musical Hello, Dolly! closed on Broadway. Albums that were released in the UK on July 9th include in 1984 when Public Image Limited released This Is What You Want, This Is What You Get. Meanwhile in America, in 1983, Wham! released Fantastic. In 1984, Elton John released Breaking Hearts. In 1986, Billy Joel released The Bridge. In 1991, The Meat Puppets released Forbidden Places. In 1992, The Samples released Underwater People. In 1994, Whitesnake released their Greatest Hits album. In 1996, I, Mother Earth released Scenery and Fish and REO Speedwagon released Building the Bridge. In 2002, Styx released At the River's Edge live in St. Louis and The Counting Crows released Hard Candy. And in 2013, Whitesnake released Made in Britain, The World Record. Singles that were released in the UK on July 9th include in 1990 when Madonna released Hanky Panky off the Dick Tracy soundtrack. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Martha and the Vandellas released Heat Wave, a classic hit. In 1994, Sam Cooke released Good Times. In 1965, The Four Tops released It's the Same Old Song and Sonny and Cher released I Got You Babe, both big hits. 
1968, Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell released You're All I Need to Get By, another big hit. In 1972, King Harvest released Dancing in the Moonlight. In 1980, Carly Simon released Jesse. In 1985, Sting released If You Love Somebody, Set Them Free. In 1996, Alanis Morissette released You Learn. In 2018, the group twice released Dance the Night Away. And in 2021, BTS released Permission to Dance. The Kid Leroy and Justin Bieber released Stay, and Billie Eilish released NDA. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 9th include Jack White of the White Stripes, Courtney Love of Hole, Bon Scott of ACDC, Jim Kerr of Simple Minds, Mark Almond of Soft Cell, Debbie Sledge of Sister Sledge, Mitch Mitchell of the Jimi Hendrix Experience, Don McPherson of The Main Ingredient, singer Alan Dale, country music singer Lee Hazelwood, New Age composer John Tesh, who was also for a time the head anchor on the TV show Entertainment Tonight, Frank Bello of Anthrax, Spencer Eldon, who is the baby on the front cover of Nirvana's Nevermind album and who later actually sued Nirvana because he called it Pornography, child pornography, something like that. In any event, that lawsuit is still ongoing. Jazz pianist Joe Liggins was also born on July 9th, as was singer-songwriter Gwen Guthrie, Jesse McReynolds of Jim and Jesse, singer Ed Ames, Keeley Williams of 3LW, rapper Nicholas Coletti, singer Savannah Clark, Isaac Brock of Modest Mouse, Singer and actress Ella Kuhn, violinist Lucia Micarelli, entertainer Root Boy Slim, jazz saxophonist Frank Wright, conductor and arranger Buddy Bregman, composer David Diamond, and composer and violinist Torino Respighi. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 9th include the man who coined the phrase acoustics, Sound engineer Joseph Savar, who passed away in 1716 at the age of 63. Composer Giovanni Bonancini passed away in 1747 at the age of 76. Composer Gottlob Harrer passed away in 1755 at the age of 52. Composer Tommaso Sogner passed away in 1821 at the age of 58. Composer Atokar Zich passed away in 1934 at the age of 55. Composer Fritz Hart passed away in 1949 at the age of 75. Songwriter and pianist Egbert Van Alstine passed away in 1951 at the age of 73. Composer Jürgen Benson passed away in 1951 at the age of 54. Composer Henri Dillon passed away during combat in the Indochina War in 1954 at the age of 41. Pianist Alexander Gedick passed away in 1957 at the age of 80. Composer Edward Hill passed away in 1960 at the age of 86. Composer and conductor Pierre Capdeville passed away in 1969 at the age of 63. Theater singer Robert Weed passed away in 1972 at the age of 69. Composer Zoltan Aladar passed away in 1978 at the age of 49. Lyricist Vinicius de Moraes passed away in 1980 at the age of 66. Violinist Oscar Van Hemmel passed away in 1981 at the age of 88. Jazz trumpet player and band leader Wingy Manone passed away in 1982 at the age of 82. Composer Randall Thompson passed away in 1984 at the age of 85. 
blues bassist Cornelius Boyson passed away in 1994 at the age of 57. Jazz pianist Sabby Lewis passed away in 1994 at the age of 79. Jazz trumpet player with the Dizzy Gillespie big band Talib Dawad passed away in 1999 at the age of 76. Keyboardist Milan Williams of the Commodores passed away from cancer in 2006 at the age of 58. Singer-songwriter Facundo Cabralwas was actually shot and killed while riding in a car with a concert promoter in 2011 at the age of 74. Wurzel of the group Motorhead passed away in 2011 at the age of 61. Singer K.K. Greenwad of K.K. and the Rays passed away in 2012 from a brain tumor at the age of 56. And singer and also the choral conductor of the Philippine Madrigal Singers, Andrea Veneracion passed away in 2013 at the age of 84. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 10th when, in 2008, Shazam premieres, the music app, not the comic book hero. 